So, hi everyone, I'm uh, Cyril Champenois, I'm French, uh, I'm uh, the co-founder of a company called Elixir Aircraft that have been uh, created in 2015 uh, and our purpose is to uh, conceive, so design, manufacture and sell uh, next generation uh, aircraft. So what you are seeing here is our first two-seater aircraft. Uh, first, we have a um, dedicated focus on the safety because there is a lot of failures, either they are coming from uh, human, so human factor, or uh, systems. So we wanted uh, really to improve the things. Today, in 2020, we can make something very, very good. Second, we wanted to uh, improve operating costs, because burning uh, 30 to 40 liter per hour of fuel, it's not something possible anymore today, uh, for the planet and for uh, just an economical reason. And the last thing is about performances. We wanted to make a very versatile aircraft. And actually, we are coming from the sailing um, boat industry. We were uh, designing racing sailboat before and a sailing racing sailboat. And, but when you look at the statistic of accidents, there is things that need to be done to improve safety for everyone. The, so let's put the black box in the aircraft so we understand at any time what's happening. Uh, the sailing industry realized that composite materials with carbon fiber could dramatically improve the performances of their sailboats. And they invented uh, a way to manufacture big and complex carbon fiber pieces without bonding, screwing, and riveting. And this is the solution for uh, our next generation aircraft, so what we call fourth generation aircraft. Just simply because we are getting from tens of thousands of pieces in an aircraft to only less than 10. And doing that, you remove the failures, so it means that the aircraft is safer. Your mechanics won't spend hours to assemble and disassemble things. And in terms of performances, it's lighter, so you can get faster and you can make more mission with your aircraft. So we are the first ever aircraft certified in CS23, FAR23, for those who know, uh, for the, uh, the US. We have an anti-explosion fuel tank in the, um, in the aircraft to prevent that to happen, meaning that when you land, you know, uh, in, a field, uh, in a field after an engine failure and uh, you are knocked out in the, air in the aircraft, you still be uh, safe because the aircraft won't burn. And as soon as you're awake or uh, the safety team come to, uh, to help you, you are still alive uh, without burning in your aircraft. Keeping you safe during landing because we are uh, seeing a lot of uh, loss of control on the ground. Uh, while we are landing, you know, you have ground effects occurring uh, near from the ground, and some people lost in the ground effect uh, because they want to make the runway, they push the stick. And since it's a bad idea because you will hit uh, the ground with the front wheel, break everything, maybe the propeller as well, we need to fight against that. And so it means that in this aircraft you have a, a very wide range of speed at which you can land, whatever uh, your level of piloting, whatever uh, you are a student or an advanced pilot, if you are tired, you will uh, land uh, safely at any speed. We installed a Nolo strut landing gear on that. So it means that um, if you are doing th that mistake, the landing gear will absorb energy and it won't release it. Operating cost, we have made a huge effort on maintenance and fuel consumption. For example, the 100 horsepower uh, version of uh, the Helix here, in flight training, will uh, burn around 12 uh, to 11 liters per hour of fuel, which is very, very, very low. If you are cruising at 120 knots with the 100 horsepower, uh, you will burn between 13 uh, to 15 liters per hour. Very, very good uh, consumption as well, and very versatile aircraft to travel. Fuel consumption for sure is, is one thing, but on the other hand, you have to talk about maintenance. And maintenance is about a, a way to give access to uh, your mechanics to every system. Every fuel system control uh, command are accessible from the outside. You don't have to touch to the seat, central console, rudder inside the aircraft. So, we will see later on, but we have big doors under the aircraft that give access to those uh, systems uh, and improve uh, the time to uh, make the maintenance on uh, your aircraft and so decreasing the operating cost. For this aircraft, we are assuming that we can uh, operate the aircraft for 20 euros uh, per hour of maintenance, which is very, very low compared to old generation aircraft. The last thing is about uh, versatility, so the performances. As I said, 
cruising at 120 knots, uh, 25 knots, sorry, for the, uh, the other aircraft is very versatile. You can make uh, a cross-country trip uh, easily at low fuel consumption, but we wanted also to provide an aircraft that could go uh, further. And this one is a dedicated private owner aircraft for uh, uh, big travelers. It crews at 150 knots at 75%, burning 25 to 27 liters per hour. If you push the throttle to 85%, you are reaching almost 160 knots, uh, burning uh, 35 to 36 liters per hour. And if uh, you are not in a hurry, you can fly 130 knots, burning 18 liters per hour. So this is the perfect solution for people who cannot afford a big four-seater, for example, but that still want to travel fast. And as you may know, most of the mission in an aircraft are made solo or with two people on board. So more than enough for those kind of aircraft. C'est parti. So, talking about operating cost. Uh, I said, uh, I said that before, we want to make sure that maintenance will be easy. So instead of having system accessible from the inside where you have to uh, disassemble seats, central console, or any other system that should not be touched, we have access from the outside. What you can see here are two big doors that give access to the entire fuel system and the entire um, control command for the Elron autopilot and so on and so forth. So it gives a good idea of uh, the money you will win on uh, your maintenance time because it takes less than two minutes to have access to the system. For example, for a 100 hour check to change a filter, it's a no event. It's 10 minutes, it's done. This is you are making uh, money on time here. So, now we are on board. First thing, easy access. You can sit on the top of the seat here and be easily inside the aircraft without having you know, no idea of where you can put your feet. Everything is strong. I mean, you can grab everything. Even the canopy is very strong. Then, you can adjust your seats and your pedals. It means that you can have a very tall guy and a short guy. As you can see, there is different level. So, everybody will be... Um, in comfort at any time in the aircraft. You can adjust electrically the pedals, so uh, uh, that tall guy like me will be uh, very well, as well as the guy sitting here, which is a 1 meter 50, for example. When I'm in, I switch on the master, I take the stick, and I can make everything with one hand. I don't need to cross, you know, to find uh, one button lost somewhere. This is um, what will be the day and night VFR of this uh, 140 horsepower turbo uh, aircraft and probably what will be the IFR version of the aircraft as well. It's made of uh, two Garmin G3X, one Garmin 750 NXI, one GNC, autopilot and a G5 as, as a backup. So you can make everything with it. Again, always in safety, you have for sure a ballistic parachute. In addition of again the anti-explosion fuel tank, the uh, spin resistance, there is many good reasons to have a parachute on board. Since this is a single fuel tank, so you don't need to switch from left to right, this is only a shutter valve. You still uh, have to keep it I mean, in on at any time, you use it just in case of fire. This aircraft is equipped with a constant speed propeller, so it means that uh, you can have the right performances when you need it. However, to make it uh, simple, this is a single lever. So you don't have the two uh, lever to the two throttle to, um, to manage. You put power, the computer is doing the same, the, his own job for you. You have the choice, you can have either brakes on the pedal or brakes by hand. To be honest, we love hand brakes because it makes it safer. Uh, that being said, hidden here, you can't see it on the camera, this is where you can plug your headset. Very well hidden from your 
fit that could uh, shoot uh, the, the headset and break it. So uh, they are safe here. And then at the back, you have the luggage compartment, 25 kilograms. And there you go, you can go in travel. So going back to the loss of control topic, um, as I said, going out of spin is not longer uh, acceptable since we all know that uh, nobody can recover from a spin at low altitude and even at high altitude, people don't have the skills, I mean the training to recover from that. So another way to see the problem is avoiding the spin. So that's the reason why we have created the spin, uh, spin resistant uh, behaviors. Um, how is it working? Very simple. We have two airfoil in the aircraft. The one for cruise goes from the wing route to the fence here. The one which will allow to keep a fresh airflow at any angle of attack here and will never stall at high angle of attack is there. So we are uh, creating very simply more lift here to make sure that you will never have a dive in one or the other side of the wing because diving in one of the other side of the wing is the start of the spin and you uh, can't accept that. So evolutive uh, profile, airfoil, drop leading edge here to make sure that uh, you increase the lift uh, at um, uh, the wing tip, a fence that will block the turbulent airflow coming from the stalled area of the wing, but will never uh, pollute that area. Meaning that because you have still fresh air here, you have the ailerons that are very, very efficient. And it means that during stall, you can control the aircraft, but even at low speed, you will still be able to control very efficiently the aircraft. So you mean by crosswind, you will have a lot of power to uh, control uh, your aircraft on the aileron. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you soon. Uh, we will be in Oshkosh uh, in July 2022. Uh, we hope we will be able to talk about our uh, next generation training aircraft, starting with that version, 100 horsepower, uh, fuel consumption very, very low, a very high um, performance in cruise speed. Uh, prices today for this aircraft, 235,000 euros, up to this version, the travel version, which is a turbo. You can cruise at 150 knots and the fuel consumption is 25 to 30 liters power. We will probably reach price between 300 to 400,000 euros and uh, hopefully see you soon to talk about that around the aircraft in the US.